Jason Collins, the first openly gay active athlete, is now thanking his supporters after coming out to the world. The veteran NBA center revealed his uh, sexuality to Sports Illustrated in a personal article published online yesterday. In an exclusive interview with ABC News, George Stephanopoulos that aired this morning on Good Morning America, Collins thanked his supporters. I never set out to be the first and it's, um, you know, obviously, you know, you're sort of waiting around for somebody else to, you know, raise, your, raise, raise their hand. Collins will be a free agent this summer and wants to keep playing in the NBA. And the same day that Collins admitted to being gay, the Sam Houston Area Boy Scout Council agreed to upholding the policy of banning gay scouts and leaders from the organization. Former prosecutor Nelda Blair and defense attorney Jolanda Joe Jones debate the controversial decisions in tonight's Fox Face Off. Kudos to Jason Collins for coming out and telling the world that part of who he is is gay and shame on Sam Houston Council of Boy Scouts for oppressing human rights. I think it is so totally important what Jason Collins did because what he did was he said in the most masculine, in the strongest of sports, the NBA, it is okay to be gay and perhaps just perhaps that if he can, if he does that, it'll trickle down to across the world because you got to know about those locker room jokes that they make. And it will be the same as if a black person listened to people making black jokes. Oh. It's inappropriate. So, Londa, well, let's start with the Boy Scouts, number one. I'm sorry, but this is the United States of America. The Boy Scouts is a private organization. Who and can they be can homophobic. And they can make any rule they want. It's just like asking a Jewish organization to believe in Christianity. You can't do that. You have to give the freedom for them to let in who they want and keep out who they want. And by the way, it's just a matter of saying they don't want to change their current that policy is, that's been that way for that years cowardice, and years and years. That's the cowardice way out. These are children. They need to be okay with who they are. You have a rash of kids killing themselves because they are discriminated against because they are either gay or people perceive them to be gay. And the Boy Scouts needs to get on board with the human rights train well, and stop being like those surely people. Surely we can agree that the Boy Scouts aren't making little children kill themselves. But let's uh, they're talk, contributing. Let's talk about they're Jason Collins. Here's what I don't understand. He's on the front page of Sports Illustrated, and in his interview, he starts it out by saying, I'm a 34-year-old NBA player. I'm black. I'm gay. Why does that define him? What I don't understand is why doesn't he say something magnanimous like, here's what I want to do for the good of the world. Here's what I believe in but by God that I did. believe he in. Said, I'm it's doing just this. such a small thing. It doesn't really define said, him. I don't understand I why we're talking about it. I am it. doing something for the good of the world because I am trying to make people stop and pay attention to who the people that they look up to in basketball, for example, and understand that he's a gay man, and he's proud to be a gay man, and I, for one, don't believe God makes mistakes, and God made well, Jason well, Collins then, just like he wanted then to, why doesn't, and it is not a mistake, and he needs to tell people who he why is. Why doesn't he use that billboard that he's got is in his fame to promote his religion, for example, something that's really could change people's lives? The fact that he is gay or not gay, I don't care one way or the other. So why does it define him? Why does it make a difference in the it, NBA? It, you're it, you're it, an athlete. Absolutely, you tell me. You, it, absolutely makes a difference because it's a sport where people perceive you to be a certain way and what they need to understand that this world is beautiful, people are different, God doesn't make mistakes, and he is doing something to save the world. That is what he's doing. He's giving people the courage to embrace who they are and stand up. I think he's going about it the wrong way. I think he's absolutely right. Thank you, Jason Collins. You've heard what they think. Now we want to know what you think. Tweet your comments to us with the hashtag Fox26 for life.